Oh, hello. I'm sorry I didn't see that. I was thinking about my successes over your failures. Welcome back to my meanness. Hope you don't mind my cigarettes. But I should put them on. Smoky. Now, as I was saying, today we will be talking with my good friend, Dr. Smart Dems, about a matter he finds extremely emotionally connected and important because he has gotten no sleep for the past two months over this issue. It means a lot to him now, and if you don't like his idea, my company will crush yours and everything you love. Thank you, and prepare for tonight with Dr. Smarty Bonds. So, my good friend, Dr. Smarty Bonds, mm -hmm. please tell us how your electro source thingies work. The diamond batteries. Of course, of course. So, these diamond batteries, they don't produce a lot of electricity necessarily. However, they compensate with how long they run. Oh, and how long is that? So, if we were to average it out, probably around like 5,375 years, roughly. That is a lot, my friend. Yeah, you'll be long dead, and so will I. Unless, of course, I cut off my head and we put it in a robot. How is that? How is that coming along, my friend? Quite well. Okay, okay. Good, yes, good, quite good. well. Yes, good. But anyways, back to the diamonds. So, there have been many concerns about these diamonds being very radioactive, because that's exactly what we use. Radioactive waste. Now, let me tell you now. These diamonds, they don't use, these diamond batteries, they don't use much radioactivity, okay? They don't produce as much radiation. In fact, we actually found out that it produces about as much radiation as a banana would. Banana? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quite amazing, right? A banana. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear me. I will never eat a banana again. They are banned in this household. Are diamonds expensive for the poor folk, like the school systems? Well, actually, these diamonds, they don't need to be that expensive. So, for example, you could really mass-produce these diamonds without them having to be made with expensive materials. For example, we can use coal and just pressurize them into making them into diamonds and radioactive waste, which we have no use for otherwise anyways. So these are not real diamonds, but synthetic diamonds. Yes, that's a great word to put it as. They are synthetic, we should say. Well, that's very interesting. And you say they don't produce much energy. So what should we use them for, may I ask? Of course, of course. Well, in the schools, we could use them for things like clocks, Maybe alarm systems. We could use them for things such as stopwatches, which we may need for, you know, our track racers. We seem to have a small amount of them in a specific school. Oh, well, that's useful, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And we will be right back after this commercial break. Ruinous, at some point in the future, for Family Friendly Food Time, starring Dr. Smart Tech Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. So, my good friend, Dr. Smart Tech you have a second energy electro creator thingy, my brother. That you would like to tell us about, please do. Yes, it's called vanadium flow. So, 
how do I explain this? So vanadium flow is different from normal batteries. You see, most batteries that we use today have they use two different ways to produce and store energy. They use different kinds of chemicals. All right. Now vanadium flow only uses vanadium. Okay. Enticing. <laughs> Enticing. Please tell me more. Okay. So what vanadium flow does is it takes uh, valence states in order to produce and store more energy. All right. So the vanadium itself does everything that, say, a AA battery does. Yes, I use that in my example for the uh, diamonds. So in this case, it would do significantly more, and I'll explain why. So unlike a regular AA battery, where it's such a small little container, it only has so much. Now. A vanadium flow battery, we're just going to say, you can make it this small, and it would produce much more than a regular AA battery. However, if you want to increase the size, you can produce as much energy as you possibly want by using a larger capacity electrolyte storage tank. Electrolytes? Mm -hmm, electrolytes. What's that? So basically, it's what you use in your Gatorades. When you're exercising. Of course, because I must stay fit. <laughs> yes, great. Any comments? The cigarette tastes yummy. That's great. Any comments on the batteries? What are the environmental advantages to using these? So if we're referring to how does it affect the environment in regards to pollution, it does a much better job keeping our environment healthier. For example, these don't use such toxins that harm our environment. In fact, in any case, it would save our environment because it's producing less toxins and creating much more energy. Thank you for that enlightenment, yep. Dr. Smart Day Pons. You're not just saving money, but you're saving lives. Sure we are. Now, we'll be right back after this, after this commercial break. Richer than now. Day Pons. Taser. They all threaten my operation. They must be dealt with. The robots will win. Don't fight it. Accept it. Join the robot army today. Ah, Smokey. Welcome back. We are going to conclude. Uh, discussion with my good friend, Dr. Smart Depots. We are still talking about making schools greener. And no, that does not mean painting them green. I'm still adamant on that proposal. <laughs> okay. So, please tell us about our current school usages and how these Things, power things, could be better for our schools. Well, I'm going to quote this. This is from Customer Direct, okay. Directly, all right? So, kindergarten through high school buildings in the U.S. use an average of 10 kilowatt hours of electricity annually, all right? From this, we can conclude that, like, all of the con all of the schools in the country produce like 2080 kilowatts per hour right so that's that's like twenty dollars a month maybe yeah now how can we change this how can we possibly make this amount of money uh, smaller 
I like small amounts of money. <laughs> yes, smaller amounts of money to pay. We can change. We can. Yes, we can change. Make my wallet fatter. Do it for me. Do it for me. And make your wallet fatter by making my wallet fatter. Yes. <laughs> Great. Now I'm going to quote another source on how we on how much money we actually spend. Alright. Demand charges can range from a few dollars to upwards of twenty dollars per uh, per kilowatt per month. Schools spend anywhere from four thousand one hundred sixty to 41,600 kilowatts per minute, whereas V-Flow batteries could power the same amount of energy for as low as $104 per minute. Really? Mm -hmm. And these vanadium flow batteries and diamond batteries, these bling bling batteries, <laughs> what do they do for us? Well, as the, as the diamond batteries would power smaller things like clocks, electrical pencil sharpeners, maybe even stopwatches, these vanadium flow batteries, they would be used for much larger things like the school's generators, the smart boards that we use these days, laptops, computers, even the lights within the school, things like that. And you say, because perhaps the least is, you said, a couple of dollars, so we're going to assume two dollars. The least that is spent on kilowatts per month is two dollars for these common bad energy sources we use today. And the vanadium flow is five cents per month. My wallet gets fatter and your wallet gets fatter. And my employees does not get any fatter, because I will not pay them any more than minimum wage. Correct. All right. So I get, I get more money. The hippies, the hippies, shut up. And the schools are better. Yes, the schools will be a lot better if we use cleaner energy. Cheaper, better, and no more complaints. Nope. I, I guess like that it. sums it up. I like it, my friend, Dr. Smart Depons. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you today. Yes, of course. And is your research continuing? Yes, of course. We're still getting statistics and many other factors to prove our cause to be even better. So I, so I can assume that I will see you here again? Of course. You will always a, find me here. It's always a pleasure. Pleasure, my friend, Dr. Smart Depots. We will see you next time on my show. Because it is mine. Because I am rich and you are poor. You will never get away from that phrase.